Republicans are having more meetings today to try to settle on one House Speaker candidate. As Natalie Brand reports, Majority Leader Steve Scalise is short at least 10 votes. House Republicans pick for Speaker Steve Scalise is meeting with members and trying to firm up the support he'll need to get elected on the House floor. We get everybody in a room together, uh, not individual meetings. I'm not cutting any deals. I want to meet in front of all of our members, answer every question, and just continue to work through to unite and bring our conference together. Scalise narrowly defeated Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan during a secret ballot vote on Wednesday. A day later, House Republicans remained divided, despite Congressman Jordan on Thursday urging members to unite behind Scalise. That's Jim being a, a team player, but, but like I said, I think there was a significant mistake made yesterday by trying to steamroll a good faith effort to try to get this right. Republicans are trying to work out their issues behind closed doors before a public vote. They're hoping to avoid the 15 rounds it took for former Speaker Kevin McCarthy to get elected in January. January was a coronation and it was difficult. This is a competition and it's going to be even more difficult. But time is not on their side. Foreign Affairs Committee Chair Michael McCall calls the GOP infighting a dangerous game. Our adversaries are watching this um, in Israel is watching. They need our help. The White House says the sooner there's a new speaker in place, the sooner they can move on an aid package for Israel. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Some GOP lawmakers expect to work through this weekend to try and unite behind one candidate. Israel.